Yo, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? It's speedy in the building. Back when another 10 full had conspiracy theory for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Actually, this ain't really a theory this time. Uh, I'm actually trying to do some research on the timeline. And I want to get the timeline from the beginning to the first Great War. Because you got to remember. A lot of stuff happened within the timeline to where... It altered the Great War. Did Premise always fight in the Great War? Was Premise always there? And that's what I'm trying to understand. Because if this is a cycle. Right. This is a cycle. Does that mean that the Keepers lost the Great War the first time? Did the Apothecons. And it's crazy how the Keepers and the Apothecons are the same. But the Apothecons are just corrupted keepers and the keepers are the ones who never fell right so that's that's like easy to to look at but this and this is where it makes sense but it kind of confuses me right so in the beginning there were only ether and the keepers you know in the first one right that's the first one the first one disappeared and created two beings right dr monty and shadow man which would make dr monty and the shadow man brothers at least brothers in the, sum in, the, in the summoning key right the summoning key is what the the summoning key is what um created all of the dimensions 60 plus dimensions um created Agartha and it powered the entirety of the universe to say the least <clears throat> but remember that the ether always existed that's the thing because when they're saying in the beginning there were only the ether and the keepers that means there was no Agartha which means Agartha is um made by the keepers not really made by the keepers but it was made by um the first one you know i'm saying so the ether is just earth earth was always here and then they created the ether the dark ether which is always a corrupted reality of the ether but the ether isn't like a good reality of the dark ether is like Agartha and the Dark Ether are poles, but the regular Ether almost doesn't seem anything like it. Like when you're on Earth, it doesn't look very much like Agartha. You know what I'm saying they have a little bit of mixes of everything in Agartha. So like, imagine if what it was like when it was perfect. Like imagine playing Revelations when it's all perfect, right? Does it really look perfect? You know what I'm saying, like, imagine trying to play Revelations. I mean, perfectly. Like, what will Origins look like on Agartha? You know what I'm saying. So there's certain things I'm just trying to understand. And then from the beginning, there were also multiple dimensions. So if the first one appeared, created all this, and left. And Agartha was the final one. Where would the first one go? Would he go back to the ether? Because if it was only the ether and him, that means his home is the ether, which is Earth. And Agartha was made by Earth being. I'm saying like when you're when I'm this is the main reason why I'm trying to figure all this stuff out because there's a lot of with the um timeline and then there's also this being hidden you know what i'm saying like everything isn't just going to be given to you and a lot of this stuff still isn't very well understood and it's for a reason but anyways that's just the creation story right the creation is dr monty and the shadow man right actually not really they're just the result of the creation story 
the result of the creation story is Shadow Man and Dr. Monty. But the catalyst of the creation story. Hmm. Would the catalyst be the summoning key or would it be the first one? Do we even know what the first one looks like? Would the first one be that great apothecon? Hmm, would it be? And that giant, like, think about it. What is that that animal on a uh, on Revelations? Can you see that in um in Shadows of Evil? I know probably like during the Easter egg or whatever, but like. Can that be seen in Shadows of Evil? Hmm. There's a, a few things that just I'm just, it's just rattling my mind. But I feel like I'm just trying to understand base reality first before the cycle. Before they knew it was a cycle. Because I mean like there always had to be the first thing to put everything in motion right now if premise wasn't part of all this then that strictly means that all of this started because of dr monty banishing shadow man and that's simple enough to understand where it's like well none of this would have happened if you just trusted shadow man right because shadow man was already Dealing with the apothecons and the dark ether. I'm saying, remember, Shadow Man had his, um, had his group of keepers too. He had his third of heaven. So you had the first one, then you had Dr. Monty with his keepers, and you got a Shadow Man with his keepers. Dr. Monty was working on his teleporter and stuff, and the Shadow Man was working on uh, the pyramid. Now, off rip, why would Shadow Man be working with the Dark Ether? I'm saying it almost seems as if that this is staged. Like the whole zombies outbreak and everything is just going on in somebody's mind almost like it's not even real. You know, it's kind of, and, and it, and it kind of makes it eerie when, um, when Rick Tolfin says on, on Revelations, I wish the heroes in our stories were real. Maybe they're based off of real people. I'm saying, I know at least with Shadows of Evil, there's a lot that make me think Jessica Rose is Jessica Rabbit. And then Floyd could be, you know what I'm saying? And then Vince could be another character. And Nero could be another character. And then a lot of their characters in real lives, their stories are probably going to be almost exactly the same with the zombie storyline, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like Call of Duty within itself is just a parallel universe to real life, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like when you realize that, like, they got a whole creation story in zombies. They have the fall of man story in zombies. Then they have the story of redemption. They have the story of revelations. They have so much. Even, even if you look at Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man story being like the story of... The story of Cain and Abel. Right? Now, although nobody really died and nobody got killed, it's like Kane got exiled. You know what I'm saying? Shadow Man got exiled. But at the same time, you can also look at it like, like, like the story of Lucifer, how Satan was cast out of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Shadow Man was cast out of heaven because he almost messed up the perfection. You know what I'm saying? 
And it's kind of weird that Agartha is described as this perfect world. You know what I'm saying that's how any heaven is described. You know what I'm saying so that's what also makes me believe that there is some type of planetary, religious, occultic ties to this. You know what I'm saying, and it's like when I'm reading it and when I'm thinking about it, a lot of it makes sense. But as far as play by play, you know what I'm saying. So you go from the creation story to the story of I guess like Adam and Eve biting the apple you know what I'm saying shadow man bit the apple and then their their souls were corrupted and corroded you know what I'm saying and remember with the uh the ether pyramid right they the ones that worked on the pyramid the apothecons worked on the pyramid This is a schism formed between them and the keepers. Untainted by the dark ether. So what does that mean? Does that mean a schism formed between the apothecons and the keepers or the pyramid and the apothecons? Okay, so the schism formed between them and the keepers untainted by the dark ether. So the keepers and the apothecons? Is that saying a schism formed between the keepers and and the apothecons by the dark ether because of the schism that formed between them like as in the schism formed between Agartha and the dark ether being the earth that would explain a little bit more or a lot more because if then the earth is actually uh, 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 a place of reality that is bent by what is really created and came into fruition because of the bending of Agartha by the dark ether, then that would make sense why the, the, why the regular ether looks the way it does. It looks so similar to the dark ether, but it was almost like either you want to look at it like it's the dark ether being purified by Agartha or Agartha being corrupted by the dark ether. That's how the regular ether is. The ether is just the corrupted Agartha. And then the dark ether is the final. It's almost like you have past, present, future, right? The past is Agartha. That was the beginning. That was all the way in the past. And then Agartha, I mean, not Agartha, the ether is the present. That's where we're at right now. I'm saying. And it's like there's two sides. You either go back, you either go back in time. Or you go forward in time. When you aggress forward in time, what happens? The rounds get higher and the zombies get stronger. You don't really know how to go backwards in time besides with the um the time machine from Barry, right? So what happens if you take that time, the time bomb, and put it down on round one? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of these like think about it. Multiple zombies Easter eggs have good size and bad size. Mob of the Dead has um two endings where you can either kill the crew or you can kill weasel i'm saying so there could be multiple things like that to where the ending of certain easter eggs change depending on what you do and for some odd reason i just have the strongest feeling that if you listen to what all of the words say like don't turn on the power don't do this don't do that don't do that don't do that and you're good enough to play the game without doing so Maybe there's a whole nother Easter egg that we just never found. I'm like, look all the way back at War That War. This is an Easter egg that we never found. The four unnamed Marines. Now, somebody did um, upload a video. It's about a year old, probably two years. Where um, they said that the, the four unnamed Marines were probably hired by... You know, one of the um, the CIA officers that did a lot of the black operations. And it kind of makes sense because in War at War, in the beginning of War at War, right, there's a whole thing with the map changing and discrepancy between where the real life location is and then the actual location, right, as far as in the game. So in the real life location, it's uh, a Japanese base stationed out in the island somewhere. Whereas in the game, it is moved to, to what, I think Poland, you know, somewhere in the middle of Europe, right? People question why would 
Marines be out in the middle of Europe and then only four Marines. And another thing is, in the official biography, it says four or five. Four or five. Not just four. It could be four or five Marines. I'm saying so is there a missing person that we're supposed to be looking for in world at war I'm saying but there's either four or five marines and they were sent out like basically on some dark ops mission I mean they were supposed to um be attacking the Waffen SS group 935 I'm saying why would the marines be attacking 935 and that makes sense because then it was a plane crash or stuff just malfunctioned. And it would make sense this stuff would malfunction because if the Apothecons know, mind you, the Apothecons is all the way from the beginning. If the Apothecons know that the Marines are coming for the Element 115, that will mess up the Apothecons' plans. So all the way from the beginning, that's where all of this started at. Your former unknown Marines which is probably why it doesn't matter or you could probably find out who specifically they are was Dempsey the, the fifth marine but 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 anyways when it comes to them four marines they were fighting the first batch of zombies I guess is that what it was it's like Or were they already in a cycle in war at war? Because if Element 115 was already being transported and it was being attacked by the Marines, and that means Group 935 was already formed, which it was, it's the Waffen SS Group, Group 935, they were already formed and they were already transporting Element 115. So was the location changed because of the storyline like i'm saying what makes sense because the only time that the time the time that we found out that element 115 was being transported was in origins right when the apothecons told premise that there were uh, 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 element 115 and origins that's when they went over the origins which was around the same time that um war that war was taking place and it's crazy because in war with that war knocked down towing is um like as far as the story it begins june 4th june 4th is a reincarnate number a reincarnate date it was like june 4th 1945 or something like that So, June 4th, 1945, that's when they went out to go attack. But within that time, in real life, the real life uh, Waffen SS 935 was already disbanded. So, is that on purpose? Did they disband and then were they attacked by the Marines after they disbanded? It sounds like something America would do. Or is this a completely different timeline where... The Waffen, the Waffen SS Group 935 is still, I'm saying, together, where they never disbanded. And that's what I mean by it is Call of Duty already, like, in a different timeline. Because if Call of Duty is already separate from our real life timeline, then the real life timeline will give us clues to, I'm saying, what changed in the alternate timeline being Call of Duty. And mind, that's all the way back in World at War. In the opening cutscene of World at War, you wake up, right, disoriented, temporary, mem tempor temporary memory loss, which is why the unnamed soldiers can't remember the names. They're under the effects of Element 115. They want to know who they are. N now, that's also probably why they're unvoiced and why they don't speak. They say that World at War don't have a story i mean they say that the, the the nazi zombies doesn't have a storyline but it clearly does if you're talking about nazi nazi germany you know what i'm saying and all that and it wasn't even just nazi germany but you know I mean because they wanted to keep their race pure with the Aryans and all that but then they 
wind up opening their arms to um, other people that you know were under a, 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 a germ, German Germanic uh, territory. You know what I'm saying so. <clears throat> the Waffen SS Group 935. A lot of that lore. You know what I'm saying if you take that and actually compare that to what happened in uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies, you can kind of make the comparison. You know what I'm saying you can kind of well, not even in Black Ops 3 Zombies and War that War. War that war zombies. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so war that war zombies. Th those four people don't remember their names because they're under the effects of Element One One Five. Now war that war that probably that that could be the first cycle. And if that is the first cycle, then looking all the way through war that war, the rest of the maps of war that war might give you a clue of who the original four marines were you know what i'm saying it says they're just unnamed marines but it's like if 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 war that war was just supposed to be a, a, a fun game mode for after people unlocked it why is it that you have to complete certain challenges to unlock zombies mode anyways you know what i'm saying like you don't just unlock zombie modes from from completing the game but i mean in certain other games you have to like collect all the intel do certain challenges to unlock a map or the next map or whatever right or just the mode in general so why why is zombies mode connected to the completion of campaign think about in other games even in call of duty you don't just unlock modes or you don't just unlock anything from the campaign, you know what I'm saying? You gotta play the multiplayer, you can unlock things in zombies. You play zombies, you unlock things in zombies. You know what I'm saying? But that was in the future, right? War that war is pretty basic. It was, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just not gonna believe that. I, I believe it was done like that on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the Easter eggs that was in War that War to tell you a story, a little backstory that, like, you know what I'm saying? As far as things that aren't hard coded into the game like it could be bios bios although they are hoke hard coded into the game that's not like the entire easter egg it's like it's a clue and then you look into that and then you find oh word this this was your man all right and it's like who's to say that that wasn't used on um on black ops 3 I'm thinking about something because remember that hypercube picture? You usually don't see guns like that unless it's like you're looking at it, like literally looking at it. Not like on a wall, but imagine if the chalk wall by was like an actual gun, like you know when you go into the weapon locker and you and you put your changing your attachments or making your class or whatever and you changing the weapon. That's what the summoning key picture, hypercube picture looked like. But no, it's just certain things that, like when I'm. Con that's the reason why I make these videos that way. I can just hear myself. You know what I mean, most of the times, not even most of the time, but sometimes I'm. I may be deleting the video. But as far as this goes, <clears throat> we 20 minutes in and we still only talking about the beginning and how all this could make sense. Cause it's like, all right. September 3rd, 5 AD. That's when the Apothecons were banished from Agartha and were planning to make their return and stuff like that. But the Earth had to form. They needed to form the ether. Or they had to they had to form this schism. Whatever this schism is, That's what's like, because they're being real specific. It's like, if you're saying a schism formed between them and the Keepers untainted by the Dark Ether, that means it's like, that means it was only like, Ether originally was just space. It wasn't even, hold up. So does that mean that, like, say the reality that we're living in, this is just suspended reality? Is that what we're living in? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that what, what that really is? It's like, base reality and zombies isn't even base reality. 
is already a suspended animation because the planet that they're living on earth and their world isn't even real like it isn't supposed to exist it is something that was created or like derived from heaven but it's a e but it was made by evilness like when the darkness takes their slice of heaven it's not going to be perfect like heaven it's going to be like with free will there's free there's free reign the ether is the only the only place in 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 the entirety of the ether right earth is the only plane in the entirety of the ether that has free will there is no free will in agartha i'm saying that's why rick tofen don't think it's perfect what is that premise is that premise or ultimates that i'm saying wind up messing quote messing up a lot because of their free will right and then in the dark ether there's no free will there either your brain wise is a hive mind however when you're on the regular ether which is like you know the dark ether mixed with agartha you have free will you can do what you want you have free reign but it's just hard to understand it because it, the term is so loose it's like ether ether pyramid the dark ether it's like do you mean ether is an earth like is that what you mean like the plane that they're on does the ether not describe the universe and the reality you know in the actual like space that they're in because if you're moving through space and time that's the reason why you can appear across different titles and stuff like that and seemingly being in worlds that, that that you're not supposed to be in and that's why always, things always seem otherworldly and why like you go on shadows of evil it looks like it's their reality but it's not you know what i'm saying so it's like and then the remaster of knockdown towing which is the first map is described as suspended in reality so unless the chronicles versions of the first maps are after the cycle but I'm, I'm 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 inclined to believe that they were already in the cycle from the beginning the keepers and the apothecons dr monty and the shadow man started the entire cycle you know what i'm saying i need to look into how rick tofen was found you know what i'm saying because when i did my research on the wolf king it didn't line up with anything like i can't place the wolf king prior to war that war like it's speculated not even speculated but people believe that pablo was originally a keeper he's the person that built the rising drop and uh, everything of that sort but we didn't know about a lot of what pablo was until after black ops one you know what i'm saying black ops one we had little bits and pieces and had stuff like that but we just heard murmurs you know i'm saying and then people seeing the wolf king they're like is this the wolf king wolf king and it's like well the wolf king will probably be like an angel or something like that you know what i'm saying like religiously they, they they connect um emperors and princes and kings and stuff like that with actual gods you know what i'm saying so that's the reason why they call them lord and stuff like that but I don't know, man. It's just, it's just kind of hard to understand all of that, but it's kind of not. It's just that I'm not sure if that's correct or not. If that is correct, I can I can do something with that. But if that is incorrect, then it's like I need to look more into Rick Tofen because Rick Tofen was found by somebody, and then Rick Tofen is the one that brought Dempsey and Nikola and Takio to the experimentation rooms and Rick Tofen also experimented on Pablo Pablo is a Mexicano but he wasn't just in Mexico and when did Rick Tofen go to Mexico I'm saying like I know a lot of voice lines are definitely going to explain the stories and fill in the blanks but this is just what I want to find out, right? Because after all that, right? After after all of that, 
the Apothecons sent the pyramid to the moon. Who created the moon? Where did the moon come from? Because in the original creation story, nobody said anything about a moon. And it's like, when you're on the moon, can't you look back at Earth? I'm saying, so there's a lot of stuff that's just untold. Is it untold or is it unfound? I'm saying, like, was the Great War... Did the Great War happen in base reality? Are there any realities where the Great War didn't happen? Let me continue going. We've been here for 30 minutes and I don't even really know what's going on. So the Apothecons created the, the pyramid and they got that. They hit the pyramid on the moon, right? The moon was in Black Ops 1, right? Or or was it in... Did it originally start in World at War? Because the only World at War maps I know... What is it? Is it Shinonuma? Or is it... Yeah, I think it's Shinonuma, right? Darius? Was Darius in World at War or was that Black Ops 1? I think that was Black Ops 1. So... Not... Varat Hold on I think Huh. I think I know what questions to ask now. I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this. All right. So within one of the newly discovered dimensions. Okay. So Apothecons hid the Ether Pyramid on a moon within one of the newly discovered dimensions. Which is why a moon was not a map until later on. After banishing the Apothecons to the Dark Ether, the remaining keepers took on the mantle of the Guardians. Trapped in the Dark Ether... The Apothecons evolve over eons and the tri twisted creatures did now bear little resemblance to the Keeper Brethren. They desired above all else to, to return to Agartha. And honestly, I think that's what this is all about. Just the Shadow Man getting back to Agartha. I, th I think that's all it is. And I think even with all the zombies, they could probably get back to Agartha. Maybe they believe that Killing you will get them back to a guard that will purify their souls or whatever. I'm saying, who knows? That that right there is just like a wild talking outside of my neck. So, by September 5 CE, which was September 3rd, uh, 5 AD, the Apothecons, knowing the Earth has a gateway to a sent meters containing element 115 to planet. To the planet in different dimensions across space and time. So they spent they sent multiple meteors to multiple realities of um Earth, right? Which is also described as ether. So when they send the meteors to the ether in multiple different realities, they probably all land in multiple different places. And then when they land in multiple different places, say they land in a mil in a in a in a place where people recently passed that, like in the middle of a war, or just over over a um a cemetery, or if the meteor wound up blowing anything up, or you know it crashed in the water or something, it's gonna affect the biology, regardless if they're alive or if they're deceased. If they're alive, it's gonna affect them a certain way, like they might pass out or something, and if they're you know deceased 
they're going to reanimate. So, I'm not sure if they just wanted to wage war or if they just simply wanted to um, open a portal. Like, because did the Apothecons know that Element 115 was also going to create zombies? Or did they think that it was just going to... Hold on. Does Element 115 only create zombies because the Apothecons know how to manipulate it? Is that what they're doing? Are they using Element 115 to corrupt the minds of people? Because you know, you can still hear their voices in their head. Even if you, if you weren't deceased, you can hear voices in their head. Maybe if you're deceased, you can hear voices in the head. And their head is just telling them to go, you know what I'm saying, eat the brains or whatever. Remember, the hands of the brains is, I mean, they probably like, if you eat the brain, the brain uh, is going to heal you. you know what I'm saying, but they don't realize that the brain would already have more off the effects. You know what I'm saying, like the, the element 115 effects were already worn off on the brain. Unless, unless it didn't. Unless it didn't. And maybe that's why you get the, um, the audio cue. Maybe when the zombies kill you, it completes their goal and it purifies them. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it continues. It continues the cycle because it might cleanse one soul and then the zombies go right after that soul and then it transfers to another soul. And then, you know what I'm saying, just... It just keeps bouncing around and around and around and around. Pause. I'm not sure. But I feel like I'm going to find out the answers to all of this stuff. And that is literally just right before the Great War. Like I'm saying, from September 3rd, 5th. Oh, wait a minute. If they were already sending me to September 3rd, 5 AD, that's why we had 9. The map 9. And it was all the way back in the Roman times. That explains Black Ops 4. And that's why they're all placed based around different times. And, yo... Seemingly, these meteors seem to have landed in areas of importance to the actual world. If you do the Google's, if you do your Google's behind each and every one of these maps, the government is somehow connected to it. I'm saying. So, was were the Apothecons deliberately attacking specific organizations on Earth? I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Because maybe that's how Rick Tolfin got involved. And then it started the whole cycle from that. Because if it was 5 AD and one reality, it might have been 1994, 1940, 1936, 1963, and different realities. When all these meteors dropped. And that's why zombies were seen all over the world in so many different realities. Now, as far as the eye color, I'm pretty sure it just has something to do with um, element 115. I'm saying whatever element um, 115 is like trans transgression is trans transgressing or uh, like, I guess, uh, uh, what's the fusing with I'm saying that's what takes over the mind and the soul or just the body of the zombie. I'm saying. Because let's say if they have yellow colored eyes, white colored eyes, blue colored eyes, it could be just based on the area that they were in. You know what I'm saying? So I think that 40 minutes, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. That's enough for me to just go back and realize and do type in the right keywords. Because I think from World at War 
to from where they were going back. And I don't mean like game wise, I mean like lore wise. From where that word going back is going to give you all the answers moving forward that you need. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if you need to know who the four unnamed Marines are. I think the unnamed Marines is part of the lore. It's like, yo, I don't remember who the who the Marines were. Who were the Marines? Did the Marines even know who they were? Like, why don't why does it feel like they don't remember anything? So why would you remember that reality? It's a different reality. You remember who you are. You you remember that some of the stuff looks familiar, but it's not exactly what it is. So was War that were always in a separate timeline? It seems like it. It seems like it. So I'm going to look at the entire timeline, right? But in an alternate fashion, and try to see if I can put it together like that, because that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. I'm saying so what I'm going to need is um, I'm going to need every ground zero map where it's like, OK, it started here. The outbreak started here. The outbreak started here. The outbreak started here. You know what I'm saying it's like, OK, so this was the time where the Apothecons dropped all of these. Right. And then, you know, what specific dimensions these meteors were dropped in. Right. Because let's say there's only like 30 maps across the entirety of zombies of the zombies universe. Right. And 14 of those maps are ground zero, right? Because every map isn't going to be ground zero. When you have green run, green, green run as an entirety will be ground zero. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But you have town, diner. So it's like I'm counting that all as one map. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's crazy because there's um two types of keepers that we've been seeing before we've seen the actual keepers. The crawlers and the jumping jacks. You know what I'm saying? Or I guess there's two versions of the jumping jacks. The jumping jacks that look like Nova 6 crawlers, and then the jumping jacks that jump on you when you're uh, running through the, the gas and in, um, in transit. You see how all this is making sense? You know what I'm saying? 42 minutes, and even though I was confused, it, it really makes sense. So I'm going to look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start from World at War and try to work my way back to the Great War. You know what I'm saying? So, World at War worlds at war even the zombies version is war at war i mean so you have nazi zombies war call of duty war at war nazi zombies that could be describing you know i'm saying an event that happened even though it was september 3rd september 3rd in that reality like september 3rd in the dark ether reality could be june 4th in that reality i'm saying that was the same day this 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 was the same day on this day bombs drop on this day bombs drop on this day in this reality bombs dropped and this day this reality bombs drop on this day this reality bombs drop but in the dark ether reality it all happened on one day you know what i'm saying so yeah, i'm gonna just leave it right there i think i think that's enough to understand this is the true story of the Great War. Speculation theory. Catch you on the flip. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Speedy out.